Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to Jenny's Car Creations. Welcome to Crafty Hour. How are you all going? How are you all on this cold, crispy week we're having? We're having another polar blast. Um, so we've had a very, very cold winter, more than more colder than what we've had in a, quite a long time, actually. Anyway, what have you all been up to? I have been madly catching up on Stamping Up, so I'm just about up to date. So there's going to be a huge, huge, huge mail out tomorrow, which I'm quite excited mailing them all out because then I'm all up to date, which I'm quite excited about. My guys, I think I spoke to you all last week about um, our guys getting out uh, from the Big Red Bash. They got out in time, just in the nick of time. So they got out... Um, uh, late, they arrived at Telstra Tower late Friday night. Very when I say late, it was a very, very late. It was like 11, 11 o'clock at night. So, um, yeah, so I was, yeah, relieved to say the least. I was very relieved to um, have them out of there safely. Thank goodness for 23 volunteers that decided to stay and ride out the flood, um, the rain. And thank goodness for them. Otherwise, they would still be there now, <laughs> writing it out. So I'm very, very grateful. Anyway, okay, I noticed a few of you are popping on now. So I've got a backup now. <laughs> I've got my computer here, which seems to be behaving itself, and I've got my iPad in case we have these issues that we've had the last two weeks. So fingers crossed that it doesn't happen. All right, here we go. I'm just going to go in here. Oh, my gosh, here we go. Uh, okay. Here we go. Let's see if I can go in there. Oh my gosh, it's working. <laughs> I'm excited we're working and I'm not frozen so I don't have to look in the phone all the time to see if I'm on screen. Yes! You've got no idea, especially when I was doing that fun fold a couple of weeks ago. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yes! Oh my gosh. Anyway. It's been it's been very hard the last two weeks doing lives. I got you've got to say, but anyway, we got there in the end. All right, so I've got some people on. Hello, Joan. Hello. You're getting a, you're going to get a polar blast too. I read today. Um, yeah. So I, I, I rug up, my friend, because it's not nice. <laughs> Can I tell you? I don't think you'll get as cold as what we did, but it's saying Queensland is going to be hit with a polar blast for a week. So that doesn't sound good because us Victorians go up to you to escape all that, which I know a few of my, um, I say a, a person in my team has gone up there, pardon me, to escape the polar blast. She just got there and now this is happening. Gosh, we can't go anywhere, can we, with, to escape it? We're seeing as Queensland um, is going to be getting it. Hi, Julie. Hello. How are you going? Hello, Glenda. Hello. I think you're further higher up, so I don't think you're going to get the polar blast, which is lucky. It's from the Sunshine Coast downwards, apparently, but who knows? You just never know with the weather, do you? <laughs> Hello, Doris. How are you, Grandma? <laughs> Getting lots of cuddles this week. I'm sure you have been. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. How are you? And Justina. Hello. How are you going? Renee. Hello. Jane, hello, Angela, how are you all, everyone? Oh, my goodness, it's so wonderful to be back with you all. It's so great. Um, Barbara, you're in Nambucca today, heading home Monday. You have the best time of what you've got left and drive home safely, won't you? So, um, yeah, it was great chatting with you uh, on Tuesday night. Gosh, it felt like a long, than, a long ago than that. A lot's been happening this week, everyone. It's just been such a busy week, which I thought would be quiet. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, where are the little babies? They're actually in the other room. I've got Jeff and Tim, my son. They're looking after them at the moment. So hopefully we won't get any invasions today. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully. But mind you, they do sneak out when they don't know. So... Who knows? Well, they might come along. Hi, Jillian. How are you? Good to have you on. Thank you. Uh, hi, Kim. Hello. How are you going? Uh, okay. Um, you do like to share. And yes, it'll be getting it. Yeah, true, true. You're getting the polar blast too, aren't you? <laughs> we can't have all the fun. What can I say? You Queenslanders have to join in. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They have grown so much. When the guys gone home um, from the outback, they, they've they gone for, look, it was supposed to be three weeks, but it was just right on two weeks, which I'm not complaining because it was supposed to be two. And they could not believe how much they, my little fur balls have grown. For those of you who don't know, I've got two ragdoll cat little kittens and um, they just brought so much joy to us um, as we lost our beautiful little Moki, uh, um, I don't know, a couple of months ago now. Gosh, it's gone, well, thanks to these guys, it's gone quick. Um, yeah, so they brought us so much joy and yeah, so they are nearly five months, guys. We got them four weeks ago. Well, yeah, four weeks ago. We got them at four months. So it's just gone so quick. It's, um, I just don't want them to grow up. <laughs> It's like your kids, hey? You just don't want them to grow up. You want it well when they're grown up, you want them back to where they were again, small. Anyway. Okay, so what we're going to be doing tonight is I'm trying to escape the winter, everyone. So that is going into what we're doing tonight. So it's my little imaginary world. I'm trying to escape and then hopefully um, you'll escape the well, the winter with me and what we're doing tonight. That sounds really intriguing, doesn't it, what I'm doing? No fun folds tonight, guys. I think I've done that two weeks in a row. I think I need a break from that. Mind you, I could do fun folds every week. I absolutely love doing them. Okay, so uh, one thing I want to let you know is, and I told people, no, I told it last Friday on the Spin the Wheel. Oh, and by the way, spinning the wheel is something I do every week. Um... I'm going to be delaying Spin the Wheel tomorrow till 4 o'clock, okay? So 4 o'clock tomorrow will be Spin the Wheel. Now, when I say Spin the Wheel, for those of you who are new or don't know, what it is is the card I'm making tonight, I spin the wheel the next day and someone will receive that as their happy mail. And I send them all out in one hit for each month. Pardon me. Just had tea. Pardon me. Um, so... Uh, so I just so you guys get some happy mail. It's a bit of fun and I get lots of joy sending out happy mail. I might be slow with it, but it's it's it gives me a lot of joy knowing that you're going to be receiving some happy mail. So how we do it is um, if you comment, you go in the wheel. If you share, and I'm very eternally grateful if you share, you get go in the wheel twice. So it's a bit of fun and I will be spinning the wheel for the card we're making tomorrow four o'clock okay four o'clock i don't remind myself four o'clock because i've um got something on tomorrow which i've clean um forgot about actually i'm going to tell you actually um it's not a big deal but i've got to go cocktail dress hunting <laughs> um we found out <laughs> the dress code for this thing we're doing on thursday today and you got to get a cock. It's it's cocktail. <laughs> so I'm gonna go cocktail hunting dress. I'm gonna go. I I don't know where to start. Any suggestions, everyone? Of what shops to go to? I wouldn't have a clue because seriously, I you know jeans and windshields are my staple because I'm at home working. So then I don't get to go out much. So suggestions on where to go to get a cocktail dress would be so appreciative. And I've got to get it tomorrow because it the functions on Saturday. <laughs> Anyway, all right, okay, so while you're thinking about that, I'm going to turn you over and we're going to get cracking. Okay. Okay, so usual thing. Here we go. There is my, um, oh, we're flashing away. There's green flashing like crazy. Okay, so this is my host code. Please quote this host code when you purchase from me so I know to send you a thank you gift. Um, which I do regardless. If if you are over 250, usually you get your stamp and rewards, which you will, but I will still send you a thank you gift because that's what I like to do. Okay, so if you purchase from me, please quote this. You will also receive, if you're over 75, um, receive the crafty collaborations for the month of July and you will go in the draw for this little guy. Now, I didn't realize I had ordered this. So I've got two of these. So I can't be bothered with the paperwork. And I know Stampin' Up! would return it uh, and change it over. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give it to you guys. So 
whoever purchased from me, you will go in the wheel. This is a different wheel. And at the end of the month, I'm going to be spinning the wheel and one of you will win this. Okay, so, but you need to quote this quote, this code here. Okay, so um, this is a fantastic. It is from the online exclusives and you're getting two fun, um, two embossing folders in here and that's what they look like there. They've been really, really great. I've like I said I've used mine and then realized, oh, I ordered two. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay. All right, okay, so don't forget that. So all of you who have ordered from me uh, so far for this month, and I thank you so much for that, you are automatically going in already, okay? All right, I'm gonna pop that out of the way. So I'm gonna be saying this until the end of the month. So start of next month, I'll be spinning the wheel. All right, I'm gonna pop that out of the way. Okay, uh, I'm going to Eastland tomorrow, Jen. So uh, Jane, so I will probably be going there hunting Maya, you think Myers is the way to go, everyone? Okay, looks like Myra it is. Myra and David Jones. Well, David Jones don't is not at Eastland anymore now, apparently. Yeah, okay. Some secondhand shops, that's an idea too. Yeah, because I'm not going to be wearing it again, so I don't want to pay much money. <laughs> okay, oh, this is what I forgot too. So if you do purchase uh, this month you um, and you're spending $90, um, and over so every ninety dollars you will end up earning and redeeming. Okay, so pardon me, earning, which means you get nine dollars coupon after you send your order in. Now you might get multiple. So if you get like two eight, uh, sorry, one ninety, um, you'll get two coupons. So which means two emails, I think. Um, so please save your coupons, put them somewhere special or somewhere safe, and then in August you can redeem. Now, you can redeem multiple coupons at the same time. So you could get something for nothing, which is really, really great. Okay, so that is really good. This is only for July, okay? So that is a bonus on top of everything else I have told you. All right, so did I tell you I'm escaping winter at the moment? What we're doing is we are going to escape by using Beach Day and the dyes. Been wanting to do this for a while. This was in the last mini catalog and I was humming and harring and I thought, will I, won't I? You know the usual thing you do. Will I, won't I? And I decided no. Well, I changed my mind and I decided I'm going to. <laughs> and I did. And this arrived uh, last Friday and I've been hanging out to play with it. I haven't done it justice, to be quite honest. There's so much you can do with this little guy here. I mean, look at this. If you don't want this, I mean, you can just look at all these guys here. I'm not using this tonight, but I have seen some amazing things done with this. But I just want to show you what you can do with this amazing, amazing set. Plus, I'll get this out of the way. Plus, 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 plus. Oh my goodness, that's come out wrong. Um, look at these dies. These are so detailed, and you know I love a dip bit of detail. I really, really love them. I mean, look at this. We're going to be playing with this one tonight. This makes waves. This makes sand. And then you can put your little um, beach house or whatever it is, a life-saving beach house together by dies if you want to. I'm concentrating on the palm trees because, hey, we need to go to the palm, palm trees. We need to pretend we're on an island at the moment, soaking up that unreal sun. Doris, yes, I, you know I love the beach, so that's why I'm escaping into Stampin' Up, in Stampin' Up World, and we're going to, we're going to the beach. <laughs> and we've got an umbrella, all sorts of things here. I mean... This is a fantastic set, guys. You really, really get your money's worth with this, with the amount of dies that are on here. Now, to find that, you will. Oh, here we go. Oh no, that was that was that was a few weeks ago. <laughs> find it on page seventy-five. This is it here, because it's been carried over. This is it here. So the stamp set is thirty-five dollars. Your dies are sixty dollars everyone that is a steal considering how many dies there are in this set 
Um, so there's lots of dies in here that you don't need stamps for. So I reckon this is this is a really, really good deal. Okay, all right. So having said that, I'm going to show you one card I did. Now, I tried to keep it simple. All right, so this is me. This is what I think is simple, which probably for other people, it probably won't be simple. But we're not doing that tonight. We're going to be doing something else. But this is the first one I did because I thought, right, keep this simple, Jen. <laughs> keep it simple. <laughs> I tried, but this is what I come up with. That's, my, that's what I class as simple, which I know it's not for other people. All right, so we've got a few little techniques in there, which we're going to be doing. And then on the inside, I just stamped uh, the sandcastle and um, little bits of shells in there just for texture. Okay, so this time we're going to go a little bit different. So what I've done now is I've already cut some things out. So we've got some palm trees. I'm going to just pop them out here. We had, look at this, this is that die. First of all, we got, this is the wave die, everyone. Isn't this amazing? That's that little wave die I showed you. It's unreal. I love it. It's so detailed. It's awesome. Hello, Sue. How are you? Thank you for popping on. Welcome. Um, and the little bits and pieces that you get out of here are like this. Now, you could use this as a wave as well if you wanted to put that on i decided not to because i was trying to not go too nuts and that's you know i find that quite hard not going nuts um but that comes out this is i've only kept one of them that is this one here but you could use that as a wave a pretend wave if you wanted to all right so but i'm not using it i just saved that up just to show you but look at these palm trees Aren't they cool? Now, we're going to be doing something with these. Um, I have cut them in Granny Apple Green and Lemon Lime Twist. Kim, I'm using Lemon Lime Twist. <laughs> Don't use it often, but I know that's Kim's favorite color. And then this one here, another color I never use is Pecan Pie. So they are for the tree um, things you know what i've got it here how about we put it together and then i'll sh continue on showing what else we're going to do so you know me i'm not going to just sit there and just pop them together and having them look like that we've got to tiz that up everyone so i'm going to bring out my lemon lime twist and granny apple green and we're grabbing out our daubers okay Hello, Esther. How are you? Oh, Esther, I had trouble the last two weeks with that. It's a pain, isn't it, trying to get the comments? They've had an update, and I think I've finally, finally worked out how to do it. Took me all that time, though. I hope you can, too. All right, so this is Lemon Lime Twist. Now, I've got the dauber that had the granny apple green in there. So what I'm doing is I'm just daubing it just to get a little bit of different color in here. Okay, and when we put it together, it just, you know, it's just not going to be one color. So I just think that really spruces up your dyes. Now I'm doing on the bottom bit here because I feel like that's where um, the sunshine is going to be. It's going to be on the top. Uh, so the shadow will be on the bottom. Okay, so we've done that one. And now let's do Granny Apple Green. Something so, so simple. Is so effective all right let's see what this one looks like it's better all right doing the same thing again with granny apple green that's my go-to green so if you haven't got daubers just go to spotlight or um, Linkraft or wherever um, they're quite reasonably priced there and um, we I do have them in the store um, but I think it's cheaper just going to online, going to craft, craft online, or actually don't do craft online, do spotlight. I don't know where I got these. My daughter got them in a box like this. These are my daughter's actually. She just gave them to me. I don't know where she got them from, but they've been very handy. All right, there we go. So we've got that done. 
Okay, so seeing as we've got our daubers out, we might as well spruce up the tree with pecan pie. Anyone got this set at all? Oh, hang on, let me just get rid of that. I'm going to get green everywhere. I forgot to wet my um, my glass matte chamois, so I'm just using my stamp chamois. It's not as good as the glass one, but it still does its job. Who has got this set? Has anyone got this? Anyone on the fence with it like I was? I'm so glad I got it. I really am. All right, I'm just going to go along the side here. I just want to get a little bit of two-tone in here. You think you have barb? Oh, that's great. Oh, you'll need it when you get home. You're going to freeze. <laughs> Barb's been in Queensland for a, about a month, so she's going to really feel the cold when she gets home. <laughs> hey, Pam. Hello. How are you going? I hope you're weak. Um, yeah, I'll be feeling for you, my friend, this week. Really feeling for you. Okay, here we go. So we've done our bits and pieces there. Okay, so let's put these together and hopefully these are dried enough. All right, so I'm just going to do a glue dot for these. Only because I think they may not have dried in time, but, you know, if they haven't, these probably won't stick either, but we'll see how we go. If not, we'll just continue on. And go to somewhere else. Okay, so we're just putting a glue dot here and a glue dot attached to here. Like that. Alright, and we're going to do it to this one. Oh, there you go. The glue dot's great. So with anything that is still wet, your inks and stuff, get a glue dot out. It'll work that way. All right, okay, I could go a little bit darker with these. They didn't really come up that dark, did they? So I might just grab another. Let's just see if I've got any left of this on there. I know it's Granny Apple, but I might go, no, it doesn't. I just want them a little bit darker. It's the thing when it dries, you just got to keep that in mind because it does dry lighter. That's better. You could do this with your blending brush if you want to, but it's very tiny area, so I just think it's easier doing it with a dauber. I don't use daubers all that often, but when I do, they're quite handy. All right. Okay. I might just let that dry for a little bit. Let's put this together. Again, I'm going to be using... I'm going to be using um, a glue dot for these. Let's grab a glue dot. I just love glue dots. Those of you who go to Card and Cuppa, you know to have glue dots handy. I love them. All right, I'm just going to pop that there. They're nice and strong and they're not, in this case, they're not going to be, um, they're not going to be painful as in um, messy. All right, we're just going to pop our Pine, uh, our palm tree there. Now look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Isn't that awesome? Wouldn't you love to be swinging on a hammock underneath that? <laughs> love it. All right. Let's grab another one. Okay, I'm going to pick which one I want. They're both the same really, aren't they? Um, I might put you there and you can go underneath another thing too the reason I like um, having them like this is because you know that we can make it a little bit bigger you could put a dimensional on and make it more 3d if you wanted to um, but I just find having a glue dot is enough Whoop, that one's a little bit wet still 
All right, I'm just going to tilt that a little bit. All right, and then that's going to go. That's a bit funny, isn't it? I might put, I might go on the other way. Ah, oh, that's better. That's better. Didn't realise there was a top and a bottom that are different. There you go. I just assumed it was because you're cutting out two. They provided you two, but no. All right. That's better. Now you look like a tree, a palm tree. All right, we're just going to pop that on here. And do the same again. And there we've done our palm tree. All right, just going to move that around, see? Joys are glue dots, so I can move them around. There we go. So we've got our palm trees going, so we're going to be using those soon. Okay, let's get them out of the way. These are grass. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of daubing on those. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing with them. But I've got them here just in case. You wish you're in Bali. You know, I've never been to Bali and it doesn't really do anything for me. But Hawaii, you know, that's another, that's different. <laughs> I wish I was in Hawaii. <laughs> you know, one place I really want to go to is, um, is it the Solomon Islands or, or something like that? I don't know. That seems to be the place to go to. Um, I think it was the Solomon Islands. I'm only doing the top bit because I think that's the only thing that's going to be shown. Oh, they do. They come up well, don't they? I like the detail in that. I love, I love Hawaii. I've been there a few times. I haven't been for about 10 years, but I've been, I've been very privileged and very lucky. I've been four times, so very lucky. Yes, I love the hot, the heat, provided I got somewhere to cool off, like aircon. Or a beach. Okay, so we've done that. Let's put those out of the way. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be doing some stamping. So let's just grab out some DSP, oh, not some DSP, some scrap. Now I'm thinking I want the surfboard, uh, the chair, and the birds. That's what, I'm th that's what I think I might do. Now the chair I'm looking at doing a little bit different with that one. I have don't do the umbrella because I did the umbrella in this one here. And with the chair, I'm going to be doing something similar um, with the surfboard and, the chair, and the, the chair with that one. So we need that one. We need some birds. It does help having a pool. Absolutely. Yes, I'll be if I was in Bali, I'd be living in the pool. All right. I love the sentiments in this too. I mean, wishing you a beautiful day. I'm going to be using this one tonight, I think. I like that. Sending sunshine your way. We could do with that, couldn't we? From you Queenslanders sending it down to us. <laughs> Only story. <laughs> okay, we're going to be colouring as well. So this one and the surfboard are going to be on designer series paper. These guys here, uh, we only need... Uh, the bird and the sandcastle, I think. That's all we need to do. Not bad. All right. So we're just going to be using that memento. Hello, Colleen. Um, absolutely. Oh, the fonts in this are awesome. I really like the fonts. They're great. Okay, I'm just going to turn this around. It's nice how they give out different fonts, isn't it? I'm going to this seagull. We can't have a beach without seagulls. Because, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a beach without having them hanging out with us. All right, so with the sandcastle, I'm going to be using crumb cake for the sand. Uh, where are we? So I'm just going to use dark and light. Okay, so just a bit of quick colouring here. Okay, so I'm just going to... Pop that up around here, so I'm assuming that's where our light's going to be. I mean, the shadow, beg my pardon, the shadow. And we're just going to do something in here like that. Very simple colouring tonight, nothing technical. I usually leave the technical stuff for workshops. 
because they take a bit of time. All right, I want to make this look like it's round. So that's what I'm trying to do here to make sure, you know, it's a round castle. All right, now I'm meant to leave a bit here. I'm just going to put this around here because I think the die is going to go around that. The reason I go back in again is because when I go over it in my light, I seem to, um, you, you, if you're blending it properly, you will lose a bit of darkness. So that's why I always go back over. And I'm just flicking it over. Um, to get a rounded look, you need to flick like this. Okay. And that makes it look like it's around. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for at the moment. All right. I'm just going to go quickly up here because I don't want that too dark. I'm just going to quickly, I just want a little bit of light there, a little bit of white left. Okay, all right, that looks okay. And then I'm just going to, oh, I don't want the brush tip. And then I just want a little bit going down here because I forgot to leave a bit of a gap there. So that's where the sun is going to be shining on. So hopefully that's what it looks like in there. So that's what it looks like, everyone. Again, I haven't done anything fancy in there. Like I usually do fancy stuff, but I'm not doing that tonight. All right. Okay, so let's do the seagull. Okay, for the seagull, we're using Smoky Slate. Okay, so we're just going to go over there like that, around his belly and up here. And then... I'm going to get my color blender, my color lifter, and I'm just lifting that, blending that in. I meant to do light, but I felt like the light might have been too light. Okay, so that it's got a bit of a tinge there. So that's all we've got there going there. So it's just a bit of a tinge. Okay, all right, so I think that's it for that. All right, for these guys here, I'm going to get rid of these. We are going to use some DSP. Now, I want DSP for the chair as well. And then we have to fussy cut it. So what we're going to be doing, let me see. Uh, no, I don't need that. Uh, we're going to be popping this on here. I forgot I'm going to do this. And we're just going to pop that down there like that. Sorry, I clean forgot this is what I was going to do. So for the surfboard though, something a little bit different. I'm just going to grab some, where did I put it? There it is, hiding behind the computer. I'm just grabbing some DSP here, which is our in colours. And I'm just going to grab... I want a florally sort of, there we go. I want to use something like this on the surfboard. Because I'm imagining myself on a, in Hawaii, maybe at Maui, somewhere like that. And um, they have florally surfboards over there. So that's where I'm going with this. So there's some flowers here. So I'm thinking, let's stamp that on here and make sure I get some flowers. Come on, off you get. There we go. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to chop these um, on the um, cut and boss machine. And then we're going to do something a little bit different here. Now, with this one here, I meant to get another one of those. So we're going to be using this. And I'm you thinking, uh, what have I got here that's cut? Oh, here we go. We'll use this. I know it's probably similar to what I just won't. I'll use this little bit here. We're going to be cutting, not cutting, stamping this on our chair. I want one of these. I want these little. There we go. Because all we're going to be. Oh, that's not very good, is it? 
what we're going to be doing is cutting these. I might just go, I really wanted, oh, how annoying. All right, we'll just go in here. There we go. That'll do. We're just wanting this bit here, this section, the seat section here. So that's all I want from that. The rest is going to be chucked in the bin. All right, so we've got that going. Let's get our cut and boss machine out. So we are going to be needing. All right, so we're going to be needing, what am I going to need to need? The chair, uh, the bird, and the sandcastle and the surfboard that's all i'm needing because i did all the rest in um just before i came on okay just gonna pop you down there don't need you anymore all right let's get this up now because they're so tiny i have going to there it is there got some tape here very quiet tonight <laughs> okay let's do the surfboard first all right okay we're just going to pop that down there like that i'm hoping that won't move what else have i got there's the chair so let's pop that on as well Watching with interest. <laughs> New plates. I've been saving these up because my old plates are looking not very nice. So nice new, well, one nice new plate anyway. I reserved for lives and it was looking a bit tatty, the one I reserved from lives. So I've been using that um, for my personal use. All right, so we've got those two going. Okay. All right, so let's just pop them out of the way. All right, next we're going to be using this here. Don't need the surfboard anymore. Gosh, it's still raining out there. I can hear it. Okay, and then I might as well do all these in one hit. Let's do the sandcastle and a bird. There's a little bird. I did that in the last one. There's a tiny, tiny little bird. Um, it's quite cute, actually. But I did it in the last one, so I decided not to use him. <laughs> I think I might have run out of room with what I've got in mind. That's him here. Didn't he look cute? Isn't he cute? I, I popped him on top of the sandcastle. <laughs> I should have put him on, actually. I thought he was quite cute. All right, let's see how I go here, and hopefully it didn't move. It's not too bad. Randy stopped here for the moment. Oh, that's good. Hopefully, because you're in Colac, so hopefully it'll stop here once we get it. It just hasn't stopped all day. Horrible weather. You know, I can't complain. It is winter. And I said I wouldn't complain about the weather this week, didn't I? Oh, I did say that on Tuesday night, so. Hi, how are you? Happy anniversary, Annette. Did you go somewhere really nice? So 34 years? So 34 or 40? I can't remember. I saw, saw your thing on Facebook, which I was going to comment on, and then I got a little bit sidetracked. Congratulations. You're playing with planes. Aren't they great? That's a great set. Really, really like the planes. Okay, hasn't that come up really, really well? The sandcastle. I'm pretending I'm in. I'm pretending I'm in um, on a Hawaiian island here at the moment, so I'm escaping the winter here. <laughs> and it. So this is my my way of escaping is just playing with a beach set. All right, so I don't want the edging here. So what I'm going to be doing, and I could have fussy cut this, I suppose, but 
as I was cutting everything else out, I thought I might as well just do this as well. So I don't want it. So I just want to do, um, I just want the outline. It's not, are you serious? It's not raining where you are, Doris. Why is it raining here then? Doris lives on the other side of the city. Well, if it's not raining, well then it's gonna stop then, isn't it? Because you'll get the weather before us. Hi, Angela. No problem at all. We're playing with beach theme today. <laughs> okay. Now, with this one here, I'm just going to cut out the seat section. All right. And again, I only want the outline. All right. So we're just cutting it like that. It never rains in Altona. I think I might need to move to Altona then. it's always raining here well it has been lately anyway okay so I've got that gun what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that on there like that so we've got a nice pink chair how cute is that all right let's hope this doesn't blob out everywhere it's a fresh new fresh tube oh look at that I was just about to do that might just get this and just there we go all right and we're just gonna go like that there we go so we've got a nice pink chair to sit on instead of white I could have colored it but I wouldn't have been able to make that cute pattern so why not all right so we've got that going we've got that going we've got our palm trees let's put all this together okay all right, so I have done some cutting. So what I've done is I have cut, I think this is nine centimeters by 13 point, oh, let's have a look here, 13.9. Okay, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna pop that on there like that. Okay, and we're just gonna basically gonna be um, making a beach scene here and we're just gonna put it on the back like that. Okay, so I cut this out. I think it's the sixth smallest one. So of the um, deckled circles, these are great. If you haven't got these, get onto them. They are fantastic. They are on the online exclusives. So yes, it's the sixth one, sixth smallest, which I find I use a lot. Okay, so this is just gonna go over there like that. We're not doing it now. We're gonna be building up our scene first. Okay, so with this one here, we have got the um, the beach scene here. So I got that one. is actually from the Friends of Life DSP. I was actually going to blend it and do all sorts of things with it. And I thought, well, it's sort of done it for me, really, hasn't it? So I decided not to. So we're just going to pop him in here like that. I'm leaving that white underneath because you know how it gets all white and frothy from the waves. So that's what I want for that there. Now, we also need some sand. Now, I could have used that dye that has the sand on it. But I've got some scrap um, crumb cake here. So I thought we could build a scene with this. Okay, so let's just chop a little bit here this is what I was after I didn't want a nice smooth dye I wanted texture and that's what this is all about it's texture okay so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to pop our beach scene down here like that okay now we need to refer to this and just see how we want this to go all right this is going to go up the top like that Okay, there's our beach. Now, we sort of need to do a bit of sky here, I think. So, I need to get some balmy blue. Um, and if this is too close to what I'm doing, I might have to daub that a little bit too, because I think that's balmy blue there. Okay, let's grab balmy blue. Did I put that away? I didn't put it away. Army blue, where are you? 
Uh, oh, pool party, dummy blue. It's on my desk somewhere. You know what I cleaned up today so I wouldn't lose anything? It didn't really work, did it? Army um, blue. I might have to use a different colour. Didn't really want to use a different colour. Oh my lord, it's right in front of me, guys. Why didn't you tell me it was right in front of me? Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, seriously, Jen, seriously. <laughs> All right. Let's go and pop this on. Let's make a sky. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> now, I know I've got a little bit extra here. I'm not worried by that. Um, I'll just see what that looks like. It might be a little bit too dark to what I want, but we could always hide that. Let's have a look. And we've got this going in there like that. That's not too bad, is it? All right. I'm going to try the other side and just see if I can get that a little bit softer. And a bit more on my brush. You could see the stamp pad. Yeah, I know. I was a bit stupid, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look, it wouldn't be me unless I do stuff like this because I tend to see to do this all the time. Seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was looking for my bending brush. No, I wasn't actually, but anyway, it sounded good. All right, okay, so let's see what that looks like. We've got that there going there like that. Okay. Might just put a little bit on here. All right, let's pop our sand on here, pop our waves there okay now I'm thinking should we do another layer of sand here let's give it a go and see what that looks like oh there it is after all that I couldn't find what I had used um pop this on so let's try and do that all right so there's another layer here. We could go like that, couldn't we? All right, let's see what that looks like. There's a bit more texture there, isn't there? Okay, so we're going to go with that. Now, that's again looking a little bit boring, isn't it? So we're going to be popping a bit of crumb cake. To make sure I go down here. I'm happy with that. Let's put a little bit of crumb cake in here to make that go a little bit darker. Hey, Jalissa, how are you going? Have you started studying? Actually, that probably haven't started yet. It's still holidays, isn't it? We miss you on Mondays. <laughs> okay, all right, so we've got that going. All right, how did I have that? That's gonna go in there like that. And maybe, and that's gonna go there like that. Okay, all right, so, yeah, I think the double layer of sand really makes it, doesn't it? A day next week and then proper week, I'll be missing you on one day. Ah, oh, that's so nice. One day next week, that's awesome. Well, at least you're building into it. Okay, so what we could do actually, we could go that way and that way. I think that might look a little bit better, texture wise. You know I love my texture and I'm trying to make it authentic. Um, make it as much of a C as possible. All right, let's see what that looks like. There we go. I'm happy with that. That looks not too bad. Okay. All right, so we've got that going. Okay, so let's stick this down before we change our mind again. Or well, I change my mind again. Okay, so we're just going to leave that there like that so I know exactly where I was going to pop this. 
Let's pop a little bit of glue. I'm just going to do the bottom bit here and just see. So we don't need to go all the way because this is where the glue mat's really handy here. Great for um, your blending, but it's also great for your glue as well. All right, we're just going to pop that there like that. I was going to have it slanty and having the beach going that way. But now yeah, I've sort of changed my image that I had. Sort of changed my mind a little bit there. All right, there we go. We could go something like that. Okay, all right. Let's just stick this down while I've got it in the spot I want. So like I said, the first one I showed you was what I call simple. And this is a little bit more in tip um, for those of you who are like me and like something a little bit more. Okay. All right, let's just check that again. Sorry. Oh, got some glue there. Don't want that. Yeah, that's better. All right, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I've got some glue here. So I'm just going to wipe that. And just wipe that balmy glue. Okay, this is about the worst of it, guys. All we're doing now is just... Um, playing really just decorating now so let's just chop all this off now all I've done is I've just got a scrap piece of paper and I've made sure this was smaller uh, than our front piece but I also made sure that it was bigger than the circle that we made all right Okay, let's pop this on. Okay, so that's going to go on there like that. All right, so we're ready for that now. Actually, no, it's not going on that. That's our inside piece. So we're ready for this. So what I'm going to be doing is, uh, no, I'm going to pop this on and then we'll put this on the other piece later on because I'm going to do some stamping on that as well. Thinking as I'm doing this, you have this image in your head and um, if I went too far, I'm not going to get that. So far it's working when I want. I'm just going around here with our dimensionals, obviously. Okay. Anyone feeling warmer just by looking at this? <laughs> I'm hoping that's what I'm trying to achieve. All right, so we've got that going on there like that. Here we go. Okay, so now we're just going to decorate. Where's our palm trees? So I might have a problem with some dimensionals here, but this is what I was thinking of having a palm tree leaning over like that. And then this palm tree going up there. I might have put that circle up a bit higher, but never mind. Up there like that. And then we're going to do a chair. I was imagining it underneath the palm tree. I'm just going to move that little thing. This is the beauty of back glue dots. I can move these things around. Only because you're sitting near the heater. Yeah, well, there's no heater in here, can I tell you, Elizabeth. That's why I'm all rugged up in this this warm jumper. Um, this is um, Jeff got this back from Birdsville, and it's the warmest jumper. Very warm. It's nice and fleecy. And we're just going to have this sitting in there like that. See, I'm relaxing already. I'm on a deck chair here. <laughs> Um, look, I just realized I haven't popped a sentiment on here, so I'm going to do that before we start filling up. I'm going to pop this sentiment along here, so I'm just going to do wishing you a beautiful day. Because I do, I want to wish you all a beautiful day, and whoever's going to get this card, I hope it's a beautiful day for you guys as well, when you receive it. Okay, where is my black? Where is my memento? Maybe 
may not be able to. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, I don't know how it travelled on the other side of the table, but it did. All right, let's just go along here. All right, we're just going to pop this down here. The reason I'm doing that is because this is a flat section here, and I thought once I get this on the cardstock, I'm not going to be able to do it. So wishing you a beautiful day, and hopefully that's straight. It is. Looks straight to me. All right, so where's the rest of our stuff? We've got these guys here. And we've got a seagull. Come on, pick up. Oh, I've just went under my mat, sorry. There he is. He's going to go in there like that. And then the surfboard is going to go and tuck in there. Because Hawaii have lots of surfboards. And pop that there. And pop some little bits of grass down here. I don't know why I'd got that many. All right, so that's sort of what I was thinking of doing with this. What do you think? Okay. I think it looks okay. Hi, Vicky. Happy birthday for yesterday. Um, I'm sorry I missed your birthday and I knew it was coming. I knew it. <laughs> All right, this is our card that we're going to be popping this on. So, uh, I know, there it is here. All right, so what I'm going to be doing, before I put this on, I just want to make sure that I've got no palm tree sticking right out. So we're going to be popping this on here. Now, before I do that, I thought it'd be nice if we have a bit of texture on here. So we're going to be using the sand, uh, the sand one. So I'm making sure I use just about nearly everything on this in this set for you all to see what they all look like. I've used everything basically except for um, the uh, the life saving um, thing. So and I've just thought that's for another live really. So I'm just going to be popping this along here along the edge because you're going to be seeing this. You're not going to be seeing most of this, so. Sorry about this, but it's going to take a bit. <laughs> I'm just going to bring this up actually closer to me. It might be a bit quicker. It's going to go real quick. doesn't matter if I'm all over the shot here because you're not going to see it. So it just gives you a little bit of texture here. I don't normally do this. Okay, we're going to go the other side. All right, and then down the other side again. Just that bit there. Oh, I meant to do two castles. Oh, well. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Am I making you go nuts by me doing this? Hi, Lisa. Hello. I'm going crazy with shells. I'm getting texture here. There we go. All right. So you're not going to see any of that. Not really. Not all that crazy, crazy. Um, we're going to pop this on. See how it just covers up everything and it just still looks a lot better by doing that. I like that. So I think now's the time to pop this on. And I'm just going to use the dimensionals on the remaining bits because I don't want to go any higher. This is already on dimensionals and I'm just going to glue the rest of that down. Okay. So that means it's all going to be the same height. You're actually finding the sound quite... Oh, really, Jalissa? Oh, my gosh. I find it quite nuts. That's just annoying. It's like bang, 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 bang. Oh, look at that. The seagull wants to go down in the, in the water. <laughs> okay, so we've got that going. Let's put this together now. Okay, and again, I'm going to use some glue dots because I like to chain things. So now I know how high up to do my palm tree so it's not hanging over sort of is there a bit isn't it 
So I'm just going to pop him over in here. I just want him sitting outside there for a bit. There we go. Looks like I might have to have him on the inside. There we go. That's not too bad. All right. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So again, I'm going to do a glue dot in case I change my mind and it's stuck there anyway. So I just find that's the way to go. All right, so pop a glue dot on. I could stick that down, but I want to sit all my palm leaves up. Uh, did you take the dimensionals off? Did I not do that? Yes, I did. Did I? <gasps> Glad see, I was just checking you were watching me, Angela. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you for that. I will take that off now. Thank you. That's all stuck down. That's all good. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> I had a um, menopause moment, can I just say? Menopause moment. Is that what you call it now? Menopause since... I mean menopause, <laughs> menopause moment, forgetful, goodness. All right, I think I might need a dimensional up here really. It's starting to sag a little bit. Where's a little one? There's a little one. <laughs> See, this is what you guys are here for to remind me. So it's what I really great. I love it. And it shows I'm human, hey? <laughs> Don't do what I do. <laughs> okay, we got that going. All right, so let's go back to a glue dot. Because I want all these palm leaves to sit up to make it look like they are swaying in the breeze. Nice light breeze. Keep taking your medicine. You'll be fine. Thanks a lot there, Joan. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Love your friend. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, we're done. Let's go and pop these down. That glue dot just doesn't want to be hidden. There you go. Let's pop that down there like that. And then you can go up a little bit higher. Okay. See, I want them to sit up like that. And that looks like it's more 3D. That's what I wanted. And that chair is going to be sitting in there like that. Look, I'm relaxing already. Look at that. Doesn't that make you want to relax? Just the chair there and just think, oh, I'm swaying. All right, I need to put this out a little bit higher. See, this is great about glue dots. I can do that. Because the chair's sort of getting hidden there amongst under the tree. All right. Oh. All right. Tempting anyone to want this card? <laughs> I'm happy to keep this myself. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I think I might make another one of these because I really like it. What are these palm trees. All right, we're going to have them sitting up. I might put you at the front there. There we go. So they're nicely swaying. Okay, so we've got that going there. And then we're going to pop our chair there. That's going on a dimensional because we want that going... Because um, they're in the background. So we want that look like it's sitting out from the background there. So that's going to go and sit there like that. All right. And then let's try this side. All right. I've got about these little guys. I've got them there. I might as well just put them in now. All right. I'll just put the glue in here. Look, I'm going dangerously here. I can't swap this now. I want to be there too. I'm imagining this is a Hawaiian island. Wouldn't that be nice, Helen? This is where I was imagining. I think, oh, wouldn't it be cool? One day. Well, you guys that go on cruises, don't you go to Vanuatu? And there's all amazing islands there. I want them to sit up too. Those little reedy things, these little blades. I want them to sit up 
Okay, so that's got our surfboard. We've got to have a surfboard. So I'm calling it Hawaii because I've got this surfboard here and we've got flowers and stuff and that's what they do. Well, that's what I found when I was there. Now that is a little bit too high, I think, that surfboard. I might tuck him down. I might tuck him down. And pop our thing here. And then we've got our little guy sitting there up there. I think we're nearly done. All right, let's just pop him on a glue dot. I'm taking my own sweet time doing this, everyone. I'm sure you could do this quite quickly, but I'm sort of enjoying stopping and chatting with you all while I'm doing this. Let's pop that up there. I might even go down a little bit lower. And then we've got our sandcastles. Now I meant to do two of these because one of these was going on the inside of the car. So I hope you don't mind if I do another one, but I won't, I'll just, um, I'm gonna do in a glue dot with these. I'll just, with this one, I'll just um, cut it out because it'll be quite quicker that way because I'm only gonna, it's not that bad to cut out, I don't think. Chop it, you reckon chop it? Do you reckon it's still too big? Do you reckon I should go down lower, Pam? I'm happy to go down lower. Oh, Vicky, my absolute pleasure. I can go down lower, Pam, if you want. See, we've got lower now. And then we're just going to pop him sitting across there like that. Here we go. I'm happy with that. I think that's come up okay. Surprise myself. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to do a little bit of texture in here. In the sky because it's looking too perfect and then I haven't put any bling on it yet guys so we need some bling I'm just gonna move this little guy here because he's misbehaving and I want a bit of that tree oh look at that bird I didn't stick the bird in everyone you reminded me about the dimensionals but you didn't remind me about the bird all right I'm just gonna quickly just go like this we need a bit of light bling on here because we've got to have sparkle. All right, and then let's put this bird down. I might just stick him down. Will I stick him down? Or I put a dimensional on? I think I might put a dimensional on. Why not? All right, let's just grab my scissors. Sorry, I'm having a ball here. I'm having fun. I have fun every week, but I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Especially when it's going your way and it's working for you. All right, we're going to pop that down there like that. Here we go. Ha! All right, I need to do the inside. So what I was imagining, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness what happens when you have a dirty desk I did clean it but I got stuff all right okay I'm just gonna quickly grab some more um, basic white and we'll just quickly cut the inside looks so relaxing yes that's what I wanted I wanted you to be relaxed and I wanted you to be warm just imagine yourself on that chair because I am I should have put two on, then you could be there with me. <laughs> All right. Okay, where is my sand? I've got my sand and I need my sand castle. So we're just going to quickly do another sand castle. Or, no, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to do what I did before with the first one I did. I'm just going to do this. So I'm not going to do any cutting. I just think this looked all right. So we're just going to put our sand castle maybe in here like that and then we're just going to do that there we go and then we could do some blending where's my there we go see if i much i've got any left in here look at that i've got some left more than two yeah but I don't think it'll fit though. That's the only thing. 
We could all go there. That sounds good. Wouldn't it be fun? We get no work done. We certainly wouldn't get any crafting. We get nothing done. We'd be yakking the way. Okay, so we've got that going, and I might do a bit of flicking with crumb cake. Or will I do it with the green to make it go with... Oh, will I do green? And that'll bring in the green there. There we go. Whew, that went nuts. All right. Well, let's stick that on and put some balling on and then we're, we're finished. I'm pretty stoked with this card, can I tell you? Things you do when you wing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need an umbrella on there I know that's why I did the other card because I thought I wouldn't fit an umbrella on this one there we go all right now I've got these guys these are from the online exclusives as well what are they called adhesive back shiny sequins I could have said that and this is the hard part everyone where are we going to put this jolly bling so, where am I going to put you? Sorry, I've got to have them sitting up because they've got, they've got to be up. You could always put a glue dot and train them. It's your card. You decide what you want to do. <laughs> All right, let's put one in here. Maybe one there. Oh, it's a bit too generic, isn't it? Um, I'm going to put one down here, actually. One down there small one there and then where am I going to put the next one it's supposed to be in a square well, I'll put one down here that looks I don't think that looks right oh my gosh I have a hard time with it I find this everything else easy needs to be under the right words the right, that's where I had it and I thought there's your triangle. Is that how you think, Jalissa? You need a triangle with this, don't you? Maybe I could stick one in there. Nah. Above the palm leaf. All right, done. The the big one or the little one? There we go. We'll go up there. Oh, that, that means we're going that way. That you you got to have a, a triangle. What that look like? No. Nah. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Whoever gets the card, feel free to change it, okay? Um, it has to be a triangle, though. They're the rules, apparently, so whoever has is getting this, feel free to change. In fact, I might actually. I could move you over a little bit. Here we go. Okay. We're done! Here we go. What do you think, everyone? So that is the one I did today, which I find that is my simple, simple one, which I know it's not simple, but it's for me, this is plain. Okay, and then I've amped it up doing this one here. So there's my umbrella, same um, and what I did with the chair. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that. I really do. I really hope you like it. This set is so good, guys. It's a really, really good one. You're missing out on this. And like I said, I wish I'd got this last catalogue, these two, because they're now not a bundle anymore, which is stupid me. I kept humming and hurrying and thinking no. But seriously, I have used all the stamps here. Uh, except for this guy here, um, and like I said, that's going to be another live to use this because it's it's pretty big. Okay, here we go. All right, let's just switch you back over. I'm glad that worked out really well. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, Lucia from Perth. How are you? Did you have a good flight? Lucia has gone to Perth to escape the sunshine, uh, escape our uh, winter, lucky thing. I hope you've got sunshine over there. <laughs> okay, guys, so just reminding you, if you would like to get this card, um, this is the one. I actually might do two, guys. I think I'm going to do two tomorrow, okay? 
So I'm going to be spinning the wheel for this one and this one. This will be first and this will be the second. So if you would like to go in the wheel um, to see um, if your name gets spun up, to have one of these sent home to you, just pop a comment. Um, you're going once or if you want to share, and I'm eternally grateful if you do, um, you will go in twice, okay? And I make sure when you go in the wheel, um, you are not together when you go in twice. I make sure you're split up, okay? So you get a better chance of winning as well, okay? So you're not, say, um, Vicky Lynch here, Vicky Lynch there beside you. Sorry, Vicky, I, had, I just saw your name come up and I had to use your name. <laughs> so, okay, so, um, yeah. Okay, so I make sure that you are split up so you've got a better chance. Anyway, there we go. Thank you so much, everyone. I had a blast making this. I really did. I feel a lot warmer. It's only going to be temporary. It's all going to go once I <laughs> get out of this room. But anyway, thank you so much, everyone. Now, don't forget tomorrow, I'll spin the wheel at 4 o'clock tomorrow. 4 o'clock because um, I've got some things um, and I don't think I'll be back in time. And I didn't want to stuff you around. So I'm going to be 4 o'clock tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I might see you there. If not, I might see you all next Thursday. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for you all on replay. I really, really appreciate it. And take care and I'll see you all next Thursday. Bye for now.